Hey everyone, it's Kimberly with I Dream A Lot on Etsy, eBay, and Poshmark. Uh, what did I say? Oh yeah, I said Etsy. <laughs> I meant to say YouTube, whatever. Hi, <laughs> we are back for another cumulative thrift haul. Um, let me just say this before we get started. I got my Invisalign trays back in on my top teeth. I have to do a couple more trays. We just needed a couple tweaks. Um, so it's very hard to just talk, <laughs> consistently put out words. Um, I would normally just take the tray out to do a video. However, the where she put the bumps on my teeth, when I don't have the tray in, the bump scrapes uh the inside of my lip on one side which is actually kind of good because it makes me just keep the trays in all the time because <laughs> i have a bad habit of keeping them out longer than i should although i have done very well my dentist is very happy with my results and like i said we just have a couple tweaks so it should just be two trays anyway that's that i have a cumulative thrift haul like i said I went to Goodwill on Friday just for a little bit after work. I went to Goodwill Saturday morning and then I went to the Mission Thrift Store and then I went to another Goodwill Saturday afternoon. Probably did more shopping than I should have because I still have last week's stuff to list. Um, well, and photograph. Yeah, I'm behind. And I have company coming Labor Day weekend. So I won't be, definitely won't be thrifting and I won't be working. So I have a lot to do this week. Mm. Okay. I spent $263 and 63 cents. Too many sixes. 68 items brought my cost of goods to $3.87 per item. So we are right where we want to be, right around $4. So very good. Let's jump into it. We're going to do the items that I got at the Mission Thrift Store first, and then we'll jump into the Goodwill stuff. And I'm probably going to do a two-part um, thrift haul just because 68 items is a lot and I'm gonna have to do a lot of pausing because of my Invisalign so let's see I don't know we'll wing it we'll see how we do all right so first are just um, some hats so this is like this is like a peachy kind of coral color it's not red and it's new has not been worn and I guess that's Redskins, right? Washington Redskins. I'm assuming because that one has the R. I didn't know if this was Kansas City Chiefs or I don't know. I think it's Redskins. There's a lot of Washington Redskins fans in this area. And didn't they change their name? I don't know what they changed it to. Commanders? I don't know why. I must have heard that somewhere. But yeah, this one is new with tag and it says $35. So I don't know. We will see. I have no idea how much I'll get for these. Maybe 15 could be more if they, did they change their logo to, I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, I got those. Then I love this bag. Isn't this a great bag? Look at that fringe. It's real leather. You can see it kind of has some staining just from use. I mean, I wouldn't call that a flaw. It's just what leather does from like the oils from our skin, basically, when you're when you're carrying that. Um, but there's no damage. All the little like um I don't know what you, they're kind of like studs, basically, gold. You have the pocket, outside pocket zipper, and then you have the top zipper that's 
and everything is clean, no damage, and it's Big Buddha. I've sold a couple of these bags before. I don't know what I'll get for it. I haven't done comps. I know at least 30, but it could be more. And there's the bottom, it's just so well made. Really nice. I mean, I probably got that for a dollar. <gasps> yeah, I love going to the Mission Thrift. Um, so that, then, oh, this is just a Talbot's plus size dress. It's a 2X. There's the tag. And it's just that crossover front. Little kind of, kind of like, I guess it's sleeveless. I thought it was kind of like a cap sleeve, but maybe it is just sleeveless. Um, and it's like a knee to midi length, I guess, depending on how tall you are. Um, yeah, very nice. It's rayon and spandex, very stretchy, and it's, it's thick. So this you could definitely wear in the fall. I mean, it's thick, it's heavy. So that should go probably right around $30. Next, you guys know I love these denim vintage, <laughs> um, like jumper style dresses, apron style dresses, whatever you want to call them. This is like a, like a midi to maxi length. The brand doesn't matter, but I will show you the tag. Classic elements. And there's the sizing. So size 24, 26 women, 100% cotton. And yeah, it just very fall, right? With like the autumn kind of theme, the leaves, I guess foliage, cover, colorful, has like the buttons. So it buttons on the sides. Yeah. I don't think there's any slits. Nope. There's um, the pockets in the front. Yeah, so that will go for at least 30. I'll list that for, this is a really nice one. Um, and I'll probably list it for, well, I'll probably just go $39.99 or best offer. I'll double check the comps, but I think right around 30 I should get. This is another little vintage kind of like overall um, type dress. Has the buttons there. There's your tag, it's a size small. And then has like flowers. And then just some pleating there. And it is like midi length. Does it have pockets? Yes, it has pockets. So yellow, I mean, it's great for summer, right? 100% cotton size small made in Philippines and it's the National Wildlife Federation. I have not comped this. I imagine, you know, $30. Um, these vintage dresses like this, especially, you know, 100% cotton, vintage, well-made, um, these usually go for easily $30 all day long. Have you guys noticed, um, I mean, I've always known this, that at least for the last several years, that, I mean, when I feel this, I mean, it's just so high quality. Um, just the fabric, the way it's made, um, these vintage items, I see why people search them out because the quality is there. It's, um, and it's interesting. I was at work the other day and I know this is so silly, but I was at work and I was running out of pens, like in my office. And so I went like to the area where we keep extra office supplies and I could tell he had just ordered like, you know, the same pens we always use. And I opened them up and just, just holding it, I was like, this doesn't even feel like the same pen. It looks just like it, but 
it felt lighter weight it just felt flimsy cheap and like when i clicked it it just everything it was just so just low quality it's so hard to find good quality um anyway this is um that uh is it oh my gosh is it lady or uh, Salzburg you know they make all the nightgowns I've sold their nightgowns their vintage nightgowns but this is a dress but lady doesn't and I can't read because it's like mark there's the tag something of Salzburg Lang I don't know anyway I'll figure it out it's a hundred percent cotton this is really not vintage it's made in China but it's new without tags and it's just this little like knee length um kind of like plaid tartan plaid dress it's very lightweight it's not thick it's not high quality but we'll see i'm hoping for 30 it says size large but i feel like this is a junior's large so i'll definitely do the measurements and if i still think it's juniors i'll put that in the title because it does not seem like a women's large um okay we did all that i need to back up a little okay this <laughs> which i think i'm using as my thumbnail um you guys when i saw this i was like oh yeah <laughs> So there's the tag, Vintage Men's XL, Fruit of the Loom, Made in USA, Crew Neck Sweatshirt. Look at that pelican. Look at that graphic. Insane. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. It's kind of like glitter, but not glitter, it's just metallic yeah so i am going to list that very high and when i say very high i don't know honestly i'm gonna start that at and i know this sounds crazy but i'm gonna start it at i don't know 149.99 or best offer like people pay crazy money for certain um vintage t-shirts and crew neck sweatshirts um we'll see it i may only get 40 or 50 dollars for it but i don't know this is so cool yeah so and then i got one more this is just a uh navy united states navy uh vintage sweatshirt And this is authentic U.S. Navy, made in USA, size large. And it's that S-O-F-F-E, I think. Yeah, I don't know how you pronounce that. Is it Sophie? I don't know. Sophie? Soft? Soph? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that should go for at least 30 or 40. All right, so I think those were all my items from the um, mission. Let's jump into Goodwill. All right. I have several pairs of these, so I'll go through these quickly. They're just Chico's, and they're the Travelers, and they're pants. Just pull-on, stretchy pants. These are a size... Chico size two, petite. And I believe two is a size large, like 10, 12. So I got those in black. <clears throat> those will go for $30. Um, I thought I had all of them together, but I guess not. 
this is Spiegel. So they were a catalog like in the 80s, maybe 90s as well. And this is 100% rayon, like wrap skirt. And it's a midi length. And it buttons. And it is wrap skirt and it's lined. Very nice. That'll go for $30. This is Torrid size three. I like Torrid um, pieces that are substantial and they are the larger sizes. Like I wouldn't buy usually like a Torrid zero or one and even twos, it has to be a su substantial piece. And this is just a little open front um, kind of milis military style black jacket with the button details and then the peplum hem is like a sheer fabric almost like semi sheer actually it's not really sheer at all what it's yeah not really sheer it's kind of like a <clears throat> you know what I think this has cat hair on it I feel a little mm. Do, do, do. Okay, it's just polyester and then cotton and spandex. So this is cotton and spandex and then the bottom is polyester. It's just kind of like a rayon is what you think it is. <laughs> so that should go for 30. This is another pair of pull-on pants and I think I got them all. Yeah, I got them all messed up. Hold on, let me... Ay ay ay. I got these really What the heck did I do here? They're like a layered pant and they're all twisted <laughs> and inside out. Wow. I don't know how I even Oh, let's see. I think I got it. It's so hard sometimes to see things when I have that ring light on like it just let's see I'll, maybe I'll edit this part out okay I think I got it oh my gosh you guys we I think I did it let's see okay oh boy all right these oh they're still screwed up it's the like one of the legs is going into the other leg come on okay all right <laughs> all right they're a pair of palazzo pants they have an elastic waist but what's nice i mean they're really well made they have a back zip and a little hook and eye they're just um, Alex evening. So this is like a 90s size small, but a women's size small. So these are not tiny. And they have like the sheer overlay and the sheer overlay has like a slit going all the way up to like, you know, the high thigh. And what you actually put your leg into, <laughs> that's what was all messed up, is just kind of a stretchy, um, not super wide leg, kind of just straight. So that's what you put your leg in. And then that sheer fabric is over the entire pant. And that's what makes it flowy. I will definitely get $30 for those. All right. This item is just an open front cardigan. I do not know. It's like a long line. Um, I'll show you, but let me show you the tag first. I don't know this tag. It could just be like a little boutique-y kind of brand. Boutique-y. Why not just say boutique? Oliver. I don't know. Size large. Um, here are the sleeves. So it has this crochet detail. It's very, uh-oh, I just saw a flaw. Dang it. 
thought I'd look this over. Man, you can see everything. Yeah, it totally has holes in the arm, like by the armpit. <laughs> All right, well, um, maybe I'll just try that. And it, it's cute for like, a, just like a beach cover up. But yeah, you see why I bought it. <laughs> the crochet detail and fringe at the bottom. I'll try it on. Maybe it's something. Yeah, I can't sell that. I just saw another little snag. Well, darn. All right, I'll try that. Okay. If that would have been <laughs> without flaws, I definitely, depending on that tag, I'll still look it up. 20 to $30, just depending. This is a men's button down a denim shirt. It's a men's XL and it's vintage LL Bean made in Hong Kong. So I think that would be, I think Hong Kong, Taiwan is usually 80s, right? And then Hong Kong, I think is 90s. Um, but it's buttoned down. So this is buttoned down when the collar buttons down. When it doesn't have that, you would just call it button up right? These are this buttons up. That's the closure. A lot of times I'll see people use the term button down. Button down is when the collar buttons down. Anyway, so this is a button down and this will go for at least 30, but maybe about 35 and it has no flaws. Okay. This is a hundred percent cashmere. It's Talbot. And it's a size XL and it's the vintage Talbots. So the older Talbots tag. And it's just pink V-neck, uh, size large, no flaws <laughs> um, that I saw at the store. So I'll just give it a steam and that should go for 30. Could go for more, I don't know. I will double check the comps. This is Chico's. Is this Traveler's? No, this is Easy Wear by Chico's, and it's a size three. Um, for some reason, my thrift stores have a lot of Chico's right now, so I don't know what's going on with that, and some of it is new with tags. Others is just without tags, but in really good condition. This has a little tie at the bottom, at the side there. So I will get 25 to 30 for that. These, what was that? Oh, these are a pair of pull-on pants. They're uh, Pleone and they're a size small, new with tags. They just don't have the original price, but they're kind of like this, almost like that accordion kind of pleating, but in sections. So, and they're semi sheer and they're a wider leg. Just pull on pant and there is the tag. Yeah, nothing big. Um, maybe 20, maybe 25, but I'm thinking closer to 20 maybe. All right. This I think I got for me for work. It's just an Ann Taylor size medium little um, black sweater and it's like viscose and nylon and rayon maybe so that's for me this is another pair of chico's it's just chico's travelers and these are a size two and they're brown and they're pull-on so again 25 to 30. These are another pair of pull-on pants. These are a petite large made in the USA and they are cold water creek. There's the tag, vintage, and they're just like this black and brown, bronze kind of geometric pattern. Pull-on wide leg stretchy pant, 25 to 30. This, I have not looked up. It's Malvin, M-A-L-V-I-N. Um, I love linen. So there's the tag. So it looks like it's uh, 
made in Germany. And this is a gorgeous, like Tiffany blue v-neck with embellishment along the neckline linen tunic. Very pretty. Three quarter sleeves, no flaws, and it has side slits. Super nice. So I have not looked that up. I imagine it it'll get $30, but um, it could be more. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the brand. So there are a couple missing um, little uh, rhinestones up at the top of the neck. So I think this side, you can see the rhinestones go all the way. And then over here at the very top, there's a few missing. But honestly, I mean, you'd have to look so close to even notice that. And if somebody really wanted to, they could add a couple if they wanted. But you could even just wear this like as a beach cover up. So 25 to 30 with those flaws. This is Classiques. This is a Nordstrom brand. And I know that because I used to work for Nordstrom. Um, ah. Ah, I was trying to get the dry cleaning tag off so you can see the tag. Okay, I got it. All right, so there's the tag. And this is a very high quality, um, kind of military style zip up quilted velvet jacket. This has so much going for it. There are no flaws, has kind of a nautical theme with the gold buttons. Um, let's see. Yeah, they kind of almost look like an anchor, but they're not, but they look like little like knots and yeah I don't know so let me unzip it for you this is a very high quality jacket um classics I believe yeah was one of their house brands at Nordstrom they could still have it I don't know I just read somewhere that the flagship store for Nordstrom in San Francisco, which I thought they were, I thought the flagship store was in Seattle, but anyway, um, they're, they're closing I'm, and may already be closed. It was just really sad to see the pictures. So, um, I don't know if all the Nordstrom's are eventually going to close, but it just seems like malls are just a thing of the past. And it's so sad. And this is just polyester and spandex and the lining is cotton though so that it's very um just comfy cozy and just thick well-made garment um i'm not sure how much i'm going to get for this i'm going to do some comps um i may have to kind of make up a price this is definitely vintage i'm sure there's not a lot of these listed or sold um it kind of gives me you know kind of saint john vibes um mixed with chanel vibes <laughs> um we'll see i'm not sure on that to be honest i don't know it could be 30 dollars, and it could be 80 i don't know oh this is just for me it's just a little pajama top nordstrom size small I just love stuff like that. That's for me. Oh, this is great. This is a vintage long line, open front, silky like cardigan with this very cool abstract print. And the colors are fantastic. It says pretty green and um, like gold. And then kind of this like rusty mobby color um, there's the tag and I'm pretty sure it's made in USA uh, made in USA polyester size 20 women I think is WP women petite yeah women's petite size 20 
This is definitely not a modern size 20. <laughs> I will take measurements. It kind of just looks like a large, maybe extra large. It has shoulder pads and I am considering, because you can see they're just barely stitched in there. I am considering taking those out or I'll leave them in and just put in the description, hey, can easily, um, you know, be removed. But this, this is great. I can picture this with just some like a little tank top underneath, some jeans and little boots. You could also wear this over like cut off denim shorts and little boots. You could give it like kind of a Western vibe, like very like Laney Wilson, I think. I think this is cool. So I'm not sure, I'm gonna start that high like at least 60 and we'll see how it does. I will keep you updated. This is Chico's Travelers, size three, open front, just little um, cardigan. That Travelers, you know, it's that stretchy, slinky fabric. And this is kind of like a leopard print. Another pair of pull-on pants. These are Carol Little. Uh, these are probably made in the USA. Yep. Fabric from Germany, made in USA, 100% rayon. And there's the tag. I don't think Carol Little's around. We used to sell this at Nordstrom. There's the waistline. Totally late 80s, early 90s. And then they're like a um, kind of like a gauzy fabric. And they look like they're a little sheer a little bit um yeah so those will go for 30 25 to 30. these are new with tags anthropology they are the essential slim pants by anthropology made in the philippines size us 8 and they're just like a little black velvet like kind of crushed velvet almost. Um, uh, in, yeah, ankle length, I would say, pants. And there's the tag. They were $98. There's the inside. And I'll provide measurements, and I think maybe $30. This was a cool piece. This is a set. I bought it, it's a dress and a jacket, a little cropped like bolero jacket. I bought it for the jacket. It's black with like this white embroidery. And there's the, I've sold this brand before. I think it's Lenny, is it Lenny? Yeah, Lenny, L-N-Y, New York. So Lenny, New York. Um, it's just acrylic made in Romania size large. Um, that's the little jacket. I think the jacket alone could bring 25 to 30 easily. There's nothing wrong with it. And then the dress is a mock neck, short sleeve, midi length dress. So <clears throat> I haven't decided if I'll probably list it as a set. If it if I'm not getting any action within a month or so, I may separate them out. Let's see, how long have we been going? 33 minutes. Okay guys, last item and then I'm gonna do a part two. <laughs> this is just Coldwater Creek. It's a women's 1012, size medium it says. And it's just a long line. Here's the tag. I don't always pick up Coldwater Creek, but this was a really nice long line cardigan. It's kind of like an open knit and it's open front cardigan. Very nice. And I think the fabric content, um, yeah, viscose, cotton, and linen. So if this would have just been like polyester, I wouldn't have picked it up, but it's a size 10, 12, long line, 
cardigan. People love cardigans and it has a higher quality um, fabric content. So that will go for at least 25 or 30. So, so far most of these items are going for around 25 to 30, but then we have some higher um, priced items as well. I've got a whole pile down here. <laughs> I'm going to do a part two and yeah, that's it. I will see you again for part two.